Hello everybody, welcome back to the first concert review that I have for the year. Uh, this is something that I do for any of my new subscribers for this year. Whenever I go to a concert, I like to give some thoughts on it, um, maybe recommend some new music to you all, talk about artists that you probably have heard of, a lot of artists that you haven't heard of, just whatever I'm seeing through the year. Um, this is the first one that I had booked and I have several already um, down the pike um, the latest one right now being in May. So I'll definitely have concert reviews at least through May this year. Um, but I, you know, will very likely be seeing other shows um, before and after what I currently have scheduled. But tonight I was in Rocky Mount, Virginia at the Harvester Performance Center seeing country, uh, bluegrass duo, gospel duo, Daly and Vincent. Now these, this is Daly and Vincent. Um, this is Jamie, I mean, um, Darren Vincent and Jamie Daly. Darren's sister, for those that know the bluegrass world, is Rhonda Vincent, um, the mandolin player. Uh, this is their album that came out, oh uh, gosh, 14 years ago, 2010, called um, Sing the Statler Brothers. And this is Daly and Vincent singing Statler Brothers songs. Um, they were a big influence on Daly and Vincent, uh, obviously, Again, those that know me know that I'm a big Statler Brothers fan. They're from my home state of Virginia, up in Stanton, Virginia, in the Shenandoah Valley. Um, and it's really cool to hear their music live on. But Daley and Vincent have their own career um, outside of that. They put out numerous albums. They've worked with tons and tons of people. Um, Bill Anderson, Dolly Parton. Um, you know, they've been with the Grand Ole Opry. They've sung background. Um, Jamie Daly used to sing with uh, Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver. Um, they've, you know, worked with the Statler Brothers at various times after the Statler Brothers retired. Jimmy Fortune has written songs with them. Um, you know, they're they're all over that, that gospel, bluegrass world, but also know, you know, some of the big, big time names too. Like I said, like, uh, like Dolly Parton. So, They've 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 earned their chops. They're members of the Grand Ole Opry. Um, they were inducted by one of my favorite guys, Marty Stewart. Um, they talked a little bit about that tonight. Um, they're celebrating their seventeenth uh, year as a band this year. I think they said they started in '07. And um, again, really really cool. It's my first time ever seeing them. And uh, this show was a Christmas gift that um, I gave my grandparents um who got to attend with me which was just an awesome time i think even if the music was you know terrible which it wasn't um it still was just a, a really good time just to spend a few hours with my grandparents who just lived about 10 minutes down the road um so i went and picked them up we grabbed a bite to eat and then i'm um, headed to the venue which only holds about 400 or so people but it was a sold out show they had never played at the venue before, though they had played in Franklin County, which is where the Harvester is, um, and so that they would love to come back. So that was really cool. Um, again, never saw them before. They played a little over an hour and a half, all sorts of great songs. They did a bunch of covers. They did um, I've Always Been Crazy by Waylon Jennings, talking to you, Gary, at Physical Format, uh, Rock and Roll. They did um, Only Daddy That'll Walk the Line. They sang a song by the Judds. They did a Dolly Parton tune, um, one of her lesser, lesser known tunes. They did a bunch of Statler tunes, um, Statler Brothers tunes. They did More Than a Name on a Wall, the Jimmy Fortune tune. They sang Elizabeth, which is a song that um, they actually had a hit with. So they, um, they had a hit with that quite a few years after the Statler Brothers had their hit with the song. Um, they finished the um, night with a Statler tune called I'll Go to My Grave Loving You, which is a big hit for the Statlers. Um, but again, they also did a lot of their stuff. One of their early hits was a song that they co-wrote or was written by uh, Gillian Welsh, who you would know Gillian Welsh and David Rawlings in the Americana world. Uh, it's a tune called By the Mark. Fantastic tune. It's a beautiful little gospel tune, very simple with um, uh, mandolin. So for that song, it was just um, Daly and Vincent on stage. Their band had left the stage by that point. So it was just the two of them. And that's another thing I should say. They were um, accompanied by a band of five. So um, they had their 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 bass singer, um, Alan, Alan Lee, I believe is his name. Um, they had, um, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jeff Parker. 
um, on uh, mandolin and, and vocals. Um, they had a, a piano player, keyboard player, drummer, and a very young guy playing just about every, everything else. He was playing mandolin, fiddle, banjo, um, acoustic and electric guitars and playing them all at like expert level. The dude was probably 23 or 24 years old. Just unbelievable musicianship all the way around. Daly and Vincent have tight harmonies. They both have these beautiful tenor voices. Um, again, Jamie Daly used to sing with Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver, big name in the bluegrass world. And um, just an all around great show. Again, they did some gospel tunes. They did songs on their own. Um, for the, from their own career, again, Statler tunes, all those covers. Um, they gave lead vocal duties to everybody in the band. Um, their bass singer is actually filled in for um, the Oak Ridge Boys. So he's he's done some work with the Oak Ridge Boys, very similar voice to, you know, um, Richard from uh, the Oak Ridge Boys. Um, so again, fantastic night. Again, sold out show. Very respectful crowd. Um, it was my kind of show. Those that know me know I'm I'm an old soul at heart. And so to be at a show where there weren't, you know, a ton of people getting up, you know, because they were drinking all this beer, um, people weren't rowdy, there wasn't like, you know, dancing in the, the aisles or whatever. Um, it was just, it was, a, it was a great, great evening. And I really enjoyed it. Um, I'll definitely see them anytime they come back locally. Check them out if you haven't. Uh, check out the song By The Mark. It's beautiful beautiful tune their harmonies are so so good if you like bluegrass music if you just like good harmony vocals um check out anything by daily and vincent they are just top notch world-class musicians and they've got a great um they have a tv show on rfd tv and they also play reruns on circle tv if you have it um, either of those stations um so they had a lot of you know comedic elements and in, in the in the banter there were jokes told um, there were some facial expressions made, just, just fun, entertaining, um, guys. And it was just, like I said, all around a, a wonderful evening. So check out Daly and Vincent. Um, it was a great, great show. Um, again, great to have my grandparents with me. That was their, again, their Christmas present from me. So, um, very happy to, to have them, you know, around to, to enjoy things like that with. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've heard of Daly and Vincent. Um, let me know. If you know, if you're, if you're a Statler Brothers fan, and I don't know if you're a Statler Brothers fan, um, I always love to find them here on YouTube. In the meantime, y'all be good. Take care. Subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. More concert reviews are coming throughout the year and more videos down the line. We'll see you in the next one. Bye now.